Hi, my name is Renee with rockoffphotography.com, uh, and today I have Johanna and Nick from the band Lucifer. Uh, thank you for taking your time out to talk with me this morning. I appreciate your time. Well, thank you. Thank you. How are y'all? How's your day going? Um, awesome. Excellent. It's, it's very warm here in Sweden right now. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm I'm in Texas, so it's it's I'm used to warm. Also, you know, we usually get about you know triple digit heat index. I think uh, we're, it's not Texas, but. Uh, for Sweden, it's pretty warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can understand that. So for anybody that's not familiar with your band, Lucifer, how would you describe your sound? Because it's very unique. I would say Lucifer is a heavy rock band. And where it's very obvious that we listen to a lot of uh, late 60s and 70s uh, hard rock stuff. I would say it's a cross between Black Sabbath and Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of Fleetwood Mac. That's very that's very interesting. And your and just like you described, your sound is as it's a very throwback to the sixties and seventies sound, so it's just raw rock music. And not, not being flashy, it's just, you know, writing the song for the song itself. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I think the songs are in focus. Yeah, because I think a song should function not only by its production, but it should function played on whatever instrument. This morning, we, um, <laughs> I actually did that for the first time. We played our new single, Dreamer, as an acoustic set on Swedish radio. And there was just two acoustic guitars and me singing uh, without any frills. Yeah. And that worked, you know. And I think a song should work um, without gimmicks as well. So, yeah, we also have gimmicks. We do like <laughs> so, <laughs> so talking about Dreamer, which is your new single and your new video that just came out about a week ago, you know, mm -hmm. uh, watching the video, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s, but watching the video kind of gave me flashbacks of like 70s with like, you know, the font that you use and the style that you use in the video. Was that difficult to produce? Not mm, at all. No, I think... But for us, it's more like that's what we like, uh -huh. so we don't have to overthink it. That's yeah, it's super easy because Nick and I we always have like um, visions, you know, and um, of course we had a guy filming everything, but then Nick made all the fonts, you know, for the titles and so on, and we just kept telling the video guy, please put more grain on it, make it look older, older, older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were basically do this, do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it wasn't super complicated. Yeah. So lyrically on the dreamer, Johanna, is that you from a personal experience or is just as a as a band experience? Um you mean lyrically that's yes. um that's personal. Yeah, that is kind of like because I do consider myself a dreamer and it's a little bit um about not becoming jaded, you know, or bitter or cynical, no, mo no matter what kind of shit happens to you in life, you know, because I think it's a very easy way to just become, you know, uh, well, cynical. And I think it's very important to keep that dreamer going, you know, to, to just to keep some sort of innocence within you. Yeah. Yeah. So you also have a, a new album coming out in a couple of weeks on July 6th. And Correct. compared to your first album, which has sounded a little bit more doom feel to it, this one mm -hmm. has a more straightforward rock sound to it. Is Was that an intentional move? Yeah, absolutely. Because that was actually the, the original intent for Lucifer. When I uh, sat down and founded Lucifer, I thought I want a very 70s inspired heavy rock band called Lucifer and then um, I found Gaz Jennings and we wrote the first album and of course because he has this very signature guitarist playing you know like he did in Cathedral so the first album turned out way more doom which was great mm -hmm. um, but uh, when he left um, I thought that's the best opportunity you know when Nick uh, uh, and I started talking about okay where can Lucifer sound go? I thought, great. So now we can put that idea back on the table, you know, and um, really focus more on, on the heavy rock, hard rock aspects of it. 
Um, I mean, there's still doom in it, um, but and it's still heavy, just in a different way. Yeah, I think I think we also did talk a lot about we had this in common that I mean a lot of I do like doom, I do, uh, I really, well, but also I mean Black Sabbath being the the godfathers of doom, I I think both Johanna and me think that Black Sabbath has more to offer than just the doom part. So yeah. we try to embrace the other aspects of Black Sabbath too, and I think you can probably hear that. Yeah, I, I've been I've been listening to the to the record, and uh, it's you have you know the old style rock with the layer of doom on it, but also you know the vocal styling has some blues to it, and, and it's very emotional in it. Yes. Yeah. That's I, nice, thank I you. I'd so consider too. that a compliment. <laughs> I'm was. thanking you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I, I really enjoy, I, I like the vocal style to where it really does throw me back to where, you know, either the Fleetwood Mac or, you know, uh, Ann Wilson of Heart, you know, that type okay. of melody and singing. That's really nice because those are heroes of mine. I love Ann Wilson and Stevie Nicks very much. Nicker knows it. Whenever he comes home, I have either or on the record player. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're, I, so far. I, I, I think it's I, you're going in the in a great direction, and uh, and it's and it's nice to hear that you know it wasn't in t intentional. So you know this is you know your second album with Lucifer. Do you feel that this sound is what you exactly you envision what Lucifer would be? Yes, I think Lucifer has now found its place and arrived. And I would like to continue on this path. Excellent. So, so far, you know, the, the album's not out yet, but from, you know, the recordings and, you know, it, it, some of the songs that you have played live, which would be your favorite song off the new album and why would it be your favorite? That's always hard to answer because um, we... Um, put focus on not putting any fillers on the album so yeah. we do we are very fond of every track in its own way um, I can only say that I love singing Phoenix live mm -hmm. <laughs> because because it's kind of like a rocking forward kind of song yeah. Um, yeah. but I also love Reaper on your heels because it has this ending where Nika and I both sing and I that touches me the first time I heard that it made me cry so uh, yeah, but I think all of them are close to my heart. I like playing Aton live. Oh, yeah. yeah, because you get to play like Bonham. <laughs> uh, not about that, but it, there's a lot of, yeah, it, it's fun to play. Yeah. But I always like them more. Yeah, there's definitely diff different, you know, styles and, and textures, and uh, you can hear the influences that y'all have had. And, you know, when you're when you were writing this, did at any point did you think, or were you listening to to certain bands to where it may have influenced you know this writing at this album? Uh, for me, no. No. I mean, I, we both listen to a lot of different stuff all the time. So yeah, but it is a lot of late sixties and seventies stuff in general. Yeah, but so. I, what, what I meant was like there was nothing particularly particularly on. Yeah. Um, um, uh, turntable at that moment that no, I can remember. But I know that we talked a lot about the Oyster Cult, and that always is yeah. a big influence, and maybe that shines through more on this album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with your music, you know, uh, you, you were, both of y'all were in different bands before, and now, of course, you have Lucifer. You know, what do you hope to accomplish with, with this band and this music? I don't know. I just want to play and want people to hear it. Well, it's personal satisfaction, first of all, because um, you can only play music that you're sincere about, you know. So we just did what felt like right for us. And um, if that touches other people, then that's, then that's on top of it rewarding. So hopefully we just get to uh, do like a ton more of it. I mean, we are already thinking about the next album to come out next year, so... We have some stuff lying around. Yeah, and that's pretty quick. That turnover. Uh, it seems now these days, bands are able to, you know, because of technology, able to produce and and put out music 
a lot quicker than bef you know from previous years. But still, a lot of them don't. Yes, they, uh, they don't. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, for me personally, I don't see why it should take four years to come up with ten rock songs. You know, yeah. it doesn't have to take that long. In Lucifer's case, there were, uh, there were other circumstances. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we, we had a label, yeah, we had and, a label uh, change and so on, and that's why it took so long for the but, next album. But in general, I think the good thing with the 60s and 70s was that if you had a your favorite band, they had an album out, next year there was another album out. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I want it to be too. If I, if I really like a band, I want to hear more. Oh, of course, yeah. And, and that's what you know. Uh, a lot of fans complain about. That, you know, just like you mentioned, that you're you're waiting three, four. Sometimes there's some bands that just string it out to like six to ten years. By the time they get a new album, uh, you know, by that time, I mean, some fans have just moved on or they get disappointed in the in the and the band, and 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 that's not good for either side. No, and it's no, like I think it's good for the band to stay on a roll, kind of, so you don't get rusty. But also, you have to keep the momentum going, you know. And if a band has something, I mean, I speak in general, not just for Lucifer, but yeah. if you have something going and the ball is rolling, you have to, like, use that momentum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not rocket science. It's just rock and roll. Right. Sure that long. And a little bit of discipline. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the other thing, yeah. 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 Now, is it hard to stay disciplined when you're writing? Uh, it depends on the circumstances. Uh, for me, no. Mm -hmm. I think if I have the time at my disposal, it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, it is a time thing. So, I mean, like lately, when we're preparing for this album, we haven't had time to write yeah, so but, much more music. So. Yeah, but that's just because right now there's a lot of summer festivals. Lucifer's playing live, the helicopters are playing, Imperial State Electric is playing. We're getting married, we're in a new house, renovating. So <laughs> there's tons of thing, things and you need some sort of headspace. Yeah. But um, we'll, I think we'll start working on that tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations on the upcoming marriage, then. <laughs> Thank you. It's a beautiful journey. Now, yes. uh, you did touch on a little bit. You, you know, do you have any tour plans that you have that you're able to talk about, or festivals that you're going to be playing coming up? Well, we have a few things in Europe going on. Um, we'll play Psycho Las Vegas. That's the only American show this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we are planning to do a European tour uh, in November, a little bit in December and January. We we're going to, did I just say, Japan already? And we we want to go to America early next year sometime. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, we we definitely have, uh, we will bring this baby on the road. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really want to. Awesome. So, you know, talking about tours, if you could be pick, just say, three bands at any t time error to tour with, who would you pick? Uh, uh, even bands that don't exist anymore. Yeah, just three bands, the top bands that you feel that Lucifer would make would fit in perfect with. Lois to call in seventy four. Yeah, one band. Mm -hmm. um, but they would have to open up for Lucifer. <laughs> way, way better. Yeah. Well, like Sabbath at any given point in time, but preferably in the seventies. Yeah. And. Yeah. Maybe seventy scorpions. <laughs> I would say seventies kiss because then I get to see see them when they I were mean, I, really good. I agree, but everything makes sense. <laughs> right, the original lineup. Yes. Yeah, that would have been awesome. <laughs> so, for anyone that doesn't know you so far, or doesn't know where to find you online, is there any specific sites, or is it just Facebook, or what else do you have that they can find you? Um, on? Yeah, I guess the easiest to remember is. Um, www.lucifer.church because that will take you to Facebook and there you have links to the Instagram, Twitter. We don't have a proper website. Okay. But. Now, is there, is there happen to be any links on uh, on the Facebook or to where if anybody wanted to pre-order your album coming out, they can do so on there? 
Yes, yeah. absolutely. You just in the recent posts, there has been several links to um, to a site that lists all the pre-order and streaming sites. Excellent. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, and I'm. It's, it will be available on. You know, um, you can listen to the singers and pre-order the album on Spotify and iTunes, iTunes and Apple Music, and so on. So, yeah. and more. Yeah, because you already have. You know, with Dreamer now, you have uh, three singles off this album coming out. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. I, I, I've been, you know, just to let you know, I've really been enjoying it. That it, it's uh, compared to, you know, what I'm used to listening to. This is, you know, kind of a, a a refresher to where you know music can just be music for the song itself, and it doesn't have to be over complicated. It just it can just be a good song. Thank you very much. Oh, that's, that's nice to hear. I do appreciate that a lot. Oh, you're welcome. So, for any last words for any fans, they'll be listening to this uh, once we throw up on the site what they can expect from Lucifer in the future. Well, it, it will be touring and seeing a town near you. Yeah, stay soon. stay wild <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Well, uh, ho hopefully you'll be able to make it to the states. If not, maybe I'll be able to make it one of those festivals that you'll be playing in. Uh, well, yeah, we, we will. will. Yeah. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Johanna and Nick, I appreciate your time. I wish you the best and I in a successful future on your next album coming out on July 6th. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very nice talking to you. You too. You'll have a great day. Thank you. You too. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.